いらっしゃいませ。All the food I'll be reviewing today is from the Family Mart convenience store. 何にしますか The first thing we got in the menu today is pretty intense, let me tell you. It's something I've been looking forward to for some time now. It's beef short ribs, which are barbecued with a special sauce on rice. How does that sound, eh?、Um, the Japanese name is Tokse Tari no Yaburiyaki Gyu Karubi Ju. Um, looks like that. So let's take a look first before we go into the actual dish itself. I want to talk a bit about the,、um, the actual cut of beef which is being used. It's called karubi, or as we would say in English, boneless short rib, or another name is flank cut rib. It comes from this area here of the cow, and only a small amount can be acquired from each head of cattle, making it very valuable. This is one of the most popular cuts of beef. If you ever go to a yakiniku restaurant, which is like a Korean barbecue or a Japanese barbecue, you know, where they have the barbecue set up on the table right in front of you, and you cook the meat by yourself. So it's very tender, juicy, and has a lot more marbling than other cuts of beef. Let's see how it cooks up. Ah, look at that beautiful marbling. Exquisite. So let's take a close up look at this bento box, which is absolutely plastered with meat. It comes in a fair sized bento box, and I've noticed that it's got an extra layer of plastic wrapping on it. I suspect that that's to stop the sauce from dripping out. As you can see, it's packed with grilled beef short ribs, completely boneless and smothered in their special sauce. The meat's been seared over an open flame and topped with a flavorful sauce made with spiced oil. It's served up on top of a nice layer of steamed rice,、uh, which should be an excellent combination. It also comes with a small amount of pickles on the side here,、um, which should give you a bit of variety with texture and taste because there are absolutely no vegetables in this bento box. Should we give it a try? Let's get this opened up now. So you can see, you, can almost, you can't even see the rice. There's so much、uh, meat on the top here. And、uh, I'm just going to get straight in there. I'll dig in. Take a big piece. Let's see how this goes. Now, you can have no complaints with the flavor of this.、Uh, this. It's just completely covered in this beautiful, rich, sweet sauce, which has a slightly chili flavor taste to it. But、uh, it also has loads of rice. So, this box itself actually it says it's got 300 grams of rice, which is much more than your average、um, bento box that we get in the convenience store. See,、so、it says there. Uh, 300 grams on that red sticker. So they give you plenty of rice because it is a very rich dish, and、uh, I'm going to go in for some more. Mmm! <laughs> Now the meat is super tender.、Um, it's, it's thinly cut, but、um, I don't know, it just, it just almost melts in your mouth. Now, at this time, the time I'm filming this now, it's actually nine o'clock in the morning. So, this is one of the strangest breakfasts <laughs> I've ever had, but、um, definitely one of the tastiest. Oh, what am I saying? Oh. Mmm. So, it comes with some little、uh, pickles on the side here. So, let's give them a bit of a try. Mmm. I think that's takuan, which is.、Um, A、radish, which pickled radish,、um, basically a long radish which has been pickled in salt,、um, as far as I know. But、uh, they give a nice little touch because this is quite a big lunchbox and you need something to break it up. But、um, yeah, I'm really thankful of these. So if we take a little look at the thickness of the actual beef that you get, so it's not the thickest cut of beef,、um, but as we discussed before, it's not the cheapest cut of beef either. So We have to、uh, respect the fact that they're using top quality beef here、um, in this, and it's a convenience store lunchbox after all. But the overall quality of what you're getting here, oh, it's just incredible.、Mm, it's just juicy. The more you bite it, the more juice comes out. <laughs> If you know what I mean. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. 
This luxurious dish came in at 638 yen, including tax, which is $4.37 US dollars. So bear in mind that it's Wagyu and it's an extremely rare cut of meat, which bumps the price up. It has 1,226 calories, which is a lot. And good job I chose lower calorie things for a dessert and drink. Let's give it a rating. I'm gonna give it four stars out of five. The reason I didn't give it five stars is just because of one little point, the thickness of the meat. Yeah, I could have done with a little more thickness, something a bit more girth, you know? <laughs> so next up, we got a really cute dessert, which I'm looking forward to. Sugoi desu ne. I love something sweet. I'm going to shopping in the family mart. I found this little guy. Oh yeah. He was just crying out to be plopped right in my basket. So this is a collaboration product with Taberu Ranch ice cream. So it's a milky souffle pudding made with Hokkaido milk. So let's take a closer look at it before we dig in. They say the best things come in small packages. And this has got two desserts in one. A light souffle on top, creamy sauce in between, and pudding on the bottom, made from creamy Hokkaido milk. Look at the little cow burned onto the top. Now that is classic Japanese cuteness, isn't it? The texture of the souffle looks absolutely amazing. Much more dense and uh, moist than I had imagined. So it almost looks like a cheesecake on the top. The attention to detail is incredible. And the way they've cooked the souffle without adding any color or browning to the edges, well, it's absolutely masterful. When you dig in with a spoon, you can see you get a taste of everything. Bit of souffle, bit of cream, and a bit of that milky pudding on the bottom. Oh, there's a party in my mouth and you're all invited. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Look at that little cow on the top. Ha <laughs> ha, it's so cute. Now they give you this tiny little spoon. Actually, it's much longer, look at the handle. The handle's really long, but it's not enough for me. I'm going in with a big boy spoon. <laughs> it seems such a shame to break up this little cow. Sorry, Mr. Cow, but I'm going in. Oh, look at, oh. Here goes. <laughs> oh, it's gone already. It just melts in your mouth. It's gone. Where did it go? It's magic. I'm gonna have some more. Look at that, you get everything. You get the whole thing on one spin. I don't wanna drop this on my computer here, but uh, okay. Mm. So looking more closely at the pudding on the bottom, I can see tiny little specks of vanilla pods, which just goes to show they haven't skimped on any ingredients. This is top nosh, top banana. Yeah. And then it was gone. Price wise, it's not too cheap, but then again, not too pricey. 348 yen, including tax, which is $2.39. You pretty much get what you pay for. And as I said, you're basically getting two desserts for the price of one. Calories are nothing too crazy, 250 in this. So you should be able to work them off easily if you're out and about sightseeing. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Not completely perfect, but you know what is. It was almost perfect. I'd maybe go as far as to give it four and a half out of five. It's got everything you would need from a dessert. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. It's got all the textures. It's creamy, it's dense, it's got sweetness, it's got creaminess and a little saltiness um, just to wrap things off. So definitely recommend this one. If you come to Japan, try and find it. Fantastic. Now it's time to wash it all down with a wee drinky. Jasmine tea. I'm hoping this is gonna be a nice little palate cleanser uh, after all that Wagyu beef and creamy pudding. <laughs> this bottle of jasmine tea comes in a 600 milliliter bottle, which feels slightly bigger than your average drink bottle in Japan, which is 500 milliliters, I believe. I'm thinking value for money straight off the bat. 
The color is absolutely gorgeous and it almost seems like it has a shiny golden hue to it. Just from looking at it, I get the feeling that it probably has a clear and simple taste. Just what I'm looking for. Most of the bottled teas here in Japan are unsweetened, so don't be surprised if you uh, pick up a bottle and you take a swig and it's like, jeez, that's not sweet at all. They don't really go in for sweet teas all that much here. They do have some, but uh, like this one here, the basic teas are unsweetened, which is probably why the people in Japan have the longest life expectancy in the world. Mm -hmm. There's method in their madness. Now on the Family Mart's website, I checked out this tea and I translated um, the description of it and they said, this jasmine tea is made from 30% of the highest grade gingau tea leaves. It is characterized by its elegant and gorgeous aroma and clean, easy to drink taste. Well, let's put that to the test, shall we? So first, let's have a little smell, see what the aroma's like. Oh yeah, immediately you can just you can smell the jasmine, okay? Take a little swig. Oh, now that is really refreshing. Just what I was looking for after that um, Wagyu beef and a creamy pudding. Yeah, that, that's really nice. So sometimes when you have jasmine tea, it feels like kind of overly flowery, um, but this is not overly flowery. It's it's got a nice balance of the flavor of kind of tea and a mild jasmine, but it tends to linger in the mouth. Even now, I can still taste the jasmine. So, oh, that gets a thumbs up from me. But we're gonna try it over some ice, haven't we? Here is one I prepared earlier in true Blue Peter fashion. <laughs> you probably have no idea what Blue Peter is, but people in the UK will know. So let's go. Cheers. Mm. So it's nice over ice, but actually you can taste the feel, you can taste the flavor of the jasmine much clearer and much more, I don't know, it's got more mellow taste without the ice. So actually I'd recommend drinking it just like it is or just maybe slightly cooled. This big bottle of jasmine tea is just 108 yen, including tax, and that's 74 cents. So you just can't go wrong. If you're looking for a change from all those sodas, choose this. And to top it all, it doesn't have any calories, absolutely none. <laughs> it's magic again. I'm gonna give this jasmine tea four stars out of five. The main reason I'm giving it four out of five is because it's only 108 yen, so it's super cheap, and you get 600 uh, milliliters right in there, so you get loads to drink, and it's tasty, it's clear, uh, it's not too overpowering, um, it's just a nice jasmine tea. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.